Ram in Japan. in Japan. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hi guys, so nandito nga tayo sa Terebi Tower. Mm. Yes, Terebi Tower. So yung admission fee dito is 1,000 yen uh, for adults and for mga students. I forgot how much is it? 400. 400 yen. Yeah, and meron din silang tatagal parang pag 15 people more nasa 500 yen oh, per, 500 per person, per person. so mas makamura so magdala kayo ng 15 katao dito ang <laughs> dami ay na ano kaya rin pala kami makikita dito sa Terry Tower kasi nga gusto namin mapakita sa inyo yung uh, illumination ng Odori Park para diba bird's view and then, so watch out for that Hi. Sapporo TV Tower is a TV and radio broadcasting tower with an observation deck which is located in Sapporo's Odori Park. The tower was built in 1957 and is 147 meters high. Sapporo TV Tower was designed by the architect Tatsu Naito who also designed a number of other famous towers in Japan including Tokyo Tower, Nagoya TV Tower, and the Tutentaku Tower in Osaka. The tower in Sapporo also features large digital clocks on four sides of the tower which were installed at a height of 65 meters in 1961. The tower is illuminated between sundown and midnight each day, but in order to save energy, the digital clocks are turned off between midnight and 5 o'clock a.m. The observation deck stands at 90.38 meters above the ground and offers splendid views over the city by day and night. Viewing the city from the tower's observation deck is particularly popular during the Sapporo Snow Festival in February when Odori Park is transformed into a winter wonderland. Nighttime views are also popular as the city is illuminated with twinkling lights. If you wish to enjoy the view twice in the daytime and at night, then a special daytime slash evening ticket is available that enables you to visit the observation deck twice. The 73rd Sapporo Snow Festival is going ahead, with larger-than-life snow sculptures lining Odori Park in central Sapporo over eight days this winter. The event will go ahead on the 4th of February and run until the 11th of February. The event is known for having enormous snow and ice sculptures carved with intricate details throughout the design. This year, there will be five main sculptures with a number of small sculptures at either end of the park. The park itself stretches out over many blocks with the iconic Sapporo TV Tower at the east end.
Visitors will be asked to wear masks and food and drink stalls will not be present during the event. Souvenir stalls will however be open so that visitors can take home a piece of memorabilia for themselves. This is truly an event not to miss while visiting Hokkaido this winter. It's possible to catch a train from Kuchin Station to Sapporo Station and then walk about 15 minutes to the event in Odori Park. Rental cars are another option as there are many parking lots in Sapporo close to the event. <laughs> so, yan. Tapos na tayo dun sa sa Odori Park, yung sa Winter Festival, or sa Snow Festival ng Sapporo. And now, we are on our way sa Suzukino Street. Uh, Doon yung makikita yung Ice Festival, yung uh, ice siya. Tapos sa loob niya yung mga isda. Basta, papakita ko na lang. Yung guys, medyo always buhay itong ginagawa namin. Nakita niyo naman, parang, actually hindi na siya snowfall, parang blizzard na siya, you know? And yeah, papa kita namin sa inyo. And oh, 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 And ah, uh, kakain narin siguro kami dun. Gugutom narin kami. Ah, share ka lang no. Parang four years ago, nagpunta kami dito. And yung sa Yuki Matsuri, yung sa May Odori Park, parang ang dami niya. Pero ngayon parang wala. Tapos marami kang makakainan, marami kang uh, magagawa ka. So, ngayon siguro, dahil din sa corona, I don't know. Pero yeah. Ayun lang. I'll see you guys there. A second site in Suzukino, about 15 minutes walk from a Dory site, will also be going ahead this year. In downtown Suzukino, smaller but very intricate ice sculptures line the streets, surrounded by restaurants and bars. The Sapporo Ice Festival in Suzukino is one of the three sites of Sapporo Snow Festival where you can see hand-carved ice sculptures down the bustling streets of the city's red light district. This site is more relaxed than Odori Park venue. There's not so many people and it doesn't feel as full on. You can just stroll around and stop at the various tents serving some warm food and hot drinks. Suzukino is a red light district located in Chuku, Sapporo, Japan, and it's one of the biggest red light districts in Japan, along with Kabukicho in Tokyo. The name Suzukino directly translates as zebra grass field. At the Suzukino site, you will find the ice sculpture contest, eliminated ice sculptures, and an ice bar. The Suzukino site is located in Suzukino, the largest entertainment district of Hokkaido. The venue is also called Suzukino Ice World, since this is where you can find a large number of ice sculptures. Many of the ice sculptures are a part of the ice sculpture contest held during the festival. At night, the ice sculptures seem as if they are glistening from the street lights. There is also a street called Illumination Road, where the sides are lit up with colorful lights. At the Suzukino side, there are other attractions such as the Furiai Square, where you can play with ice. There is even an ice bar, where you can enjoy drinks on a counter and sharis made of ice. From JR Sapporo Station, take the Namboku Line and get off at Suzukino Station. The easiest access to the festival ground is from exit number 3. Be sure to visit each site to enjoy the unique attractions and make the most of this winter event. The Ganso Sapporo Ramen Yokocho is a tourism hotspot for Suzukino featuring 17 popular miso ramen shops of Sapporo. The 42-meter long narrow alley is always crowded with visitors from morning until night. 
It is also popular among locals as their last stop of the night for a ramen snack after spending an evening out drinking in Suzukino. The alleyway offers up many different flavors of miso ramen, from a simple traditional take on the Sapporo staple to ones with particular choices of ingredients. You may not be able to pick just one to try. Spicy miso and miso chashu are two popular choices among overseas visitors, some of whom are regular customers that always stop by on their visit to Sapporo. Each year, on November 11, all stores have 50% off promotion. This is a great chance to try out each and every shop throughout the day. Hey guys! So that's it for our video today. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. And click on that notification bell so you'll be notified for my newly upload videos. And don't forget to check out my other social media accounts listed down below for more awesome updates. So once again, I'm Ramko Arabayashi and Mochi. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Ram in Japan. in Japan. Like, comment, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe.